Hi guys, it's me, the Big B again. Right, um, it's time for another video. Different phone, different ROM. Um, my last video was on the Xperia X10 Mini Pro. Well, I found the screen was a little bit too small on that version of the phone, so I, I've, I've gone to this, the X8, which is a much bigger and brighter and clearer screen. Now, I'm not going to talk really much about the phone because you can see loads of videos on the phone and what features it has. The main thing is the ROM because obviously being me it's uh, rooted and clockwork recovery image on so I can flash ROMs and it's got a new ROM. Now this I believe I've tested a lot of the ROMs this is a uh, 2.21 and um, you can get gingerbread 2.3 but it's not exactly stable yet. I've tried it, it's a bit laggy. This for me is the best ROM. Now when you first put this ROM on, um, the launcher they have is like the standard launcher with the four icons in each corner um, so it's pretty much looks standard but it's it's obviously got their modifications on it. It's, ve it's very nice but as you've seen by my other videos I like uh, the different launchers. I'm into the Go launcher at the minute which I'll show you which that's what it's all about. So well, further ado, there's the, the custom lock screen again. Nice sliders to go into texting and things. So what I'm going to do is do this backwards again. I hate doing this backwards, but thing. Right, this is the Go Launcher. It's just been updated, so it's all sleeker and faster. And as you can see, very very smooth. Very smooth indeed, actually. Um, and there's a new couple of new widgets now. Now one of the main widgets, obviously, there's the weather widget at the top, which you've seen on the other videos I've done. There's the task killer, which is their widget, but I've also put a new um, this widget on, which is the new SMS, Go SMS. And what this does, it when you go into messaging, the messaging now, as you can see, it's a thing. It looks, it's exactly like an iPhone. It looks exactly like an iPhone, and it replaces the the stock SMS text messaging thing is there, but this replaces it. You can tell it to use this one as default, and this is much nicer. Again, you just tap and you get nice animation of the key guard coming in, do your message, and you're out. But it's also, again, nice little animations there. The keyboard slides off that thing. Every, all the animations on this ROM are fantastic. Everything just glides in and flies in. It's really nice. Um, so that's the text messaging one. Again, really nice text message. You can theme it. You don't have to have it looking like uh, an iPhone. Actually, when you first put it on, it doesn't actually come with the iPhone one. It, it, it's, it's built in, but it, it's it's on its standard one, which still looks good. But I, I sort of like the iPhone one, and it also comes with this. If I can hit it, play, it. hit the button again. Your new contacts widget. As you can see, I haven't set this one as default yet. So I'm going to set the Go contacts, and you get a new contacts. Um. App. It's a bright picture, so the dark picture is a better board. As you can see, it looks a bit different from the standard one. It's got lots, lots, lots more features. Um, again, I would recommend this over the standard contacts. I really, 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 really like it. And again, you can see the pictures and that there. It's a bit hard to see, but it's not too bad. Um, again, the, this transition I've got on there, you can change that. That's the the wave one it was there's the zoom in but you've got ones that make it look like it's on a cube rotating and I just love how smooth and you can see how silky that is and again that's all down not only to the launcher the go launcher which again free on the market just go to the market type go launcher when you've got it on if you tap and hold so you can get your widgets up if the widget isn't there it'll download it and now with the new update when you press the menu button you get menus it's got a recommended button and when you click the recommended button it'll show you recommended apps and that's where I found out about the Go SMS and the Go contacts and it takes a couple of seconds but there you go and again Go SMS Pro, Go Weather, Go Contacts and Go Keyboard. I haven't put the keyboard one on because I like the standard keyboard but that is another option and they are free. Now there are some of the the apps and things and some of the themes you can get so you can put give it a different theme the whole launcher but they're not necessarily free right about the ROM itself um, obviously because this is that's just the launcher there's the app draw by the way 
didn't show you that. But as you can see, everything is smooth. There's no lag, no jittering, no jumping. Come back out of that. You can see how smooth it is still. And you're jumping around between different things in Facebook apps and some widgets going. What I've found so far, I'm pretty impressed. The ROM is really, really, really nice. Um, really smooth. You've got plenty of memory to play with. Obviously, with it being 2.2, in the again in the settings you get Synergen mod mod settings you can tell it to install stuff direct to the SD card and um, you've got over brightness to make the screen even brighter than it is you've got all the usual things in there of the other mods of making the ringtones louder and altering different effects putting all them animation effects on because I like it when everything just zooms and slides in it's a really nice really nice deal now I'll put a link direct again to XDA developers to the this ROM there's the main ROM and then there's a little hotfix thing and again it's as simple as putting putting them on booting into recovery mode choose custom ROM flash the main one and then straight away flash the the up the, there's a little update one again you'll see when you get on the website flash that remember when you're coming from a different ROM especially do a full system wipe like wipe the cache and things boot up will be fine. It'll be a bit choppy when it first boots up as all the custom ROMs are because they need to sort of initialize. You really need to let it fully boot up, let it get itself settled down and then re do a reboot just to get everything ticking to get that smooth. Um, now I don't think it says there's overclock and there's no overclocking settings but I don't know whether it's overclocked by standard or not. It says that it has the overclocking module in so I think I'm not quite sure, but I think it's overclocked as standard. Uh, I think it's about 691 from 600 and uh, thing like that. But you, you've got no control over that in this run. But I don't mind. It's been stable as hell. I've had no crashes. The marketplace has worked. Camera works fine. Video recording works fine. Everything just seems to work fine. Um, and like I said, I've, I've tried a fair few ROMs. And this one has been the more stable. I've had no problems with it. You've got nice backgrounds. Obviously, you can do um, live backgrounds, but I took the live background off. That's why I've got the still one on this because when I checked the battery usage, obviously the main usage for the battery was the was the screen. Obviously, I've got over brightness on and things, so that took a lot, more, a lot of the battery power. The second biggest suck on the battery power was actually the live wallpaper. Um, the actual operating system set itself didn't take that much and neither did any of the things. So the second biggest draw on the battery was the, just the live wallpaper, which even though they look nice, that will be a big hit on, on, your, on your battery life and how long it lasts. So, And I'm happy with the still wallpaper. I'd rather have the still wallpaper and have it nice and smooth. So what I want to do is I'm going to leave it there, I don't want this one to be very long at all because normally I make it about 20 minutes, so I'll put a link, if there's any comments um, I'll answer any questions you've got I'm not going to go into routing and things of like this because these are so simple to route now, you just need super one click route that you can get for the PC plug it in, put developer mode on, make sure that you read the thing it's a click of a button on your PC and you're routed and putting the recovery image on is again simple as getting a um, root explorer once you're getting it rooted and that's just like a file manager on the phone you copy and paste a couple of files into a, into a certain system bin folder reboot the phone tap on the back button like you've seen in other videos I've done you're into the recovery mode it's as simple as that it's a copy and paste of just three files basically um, but you'll find all the information you need on that on the XDA developers website in the section for this phone it'll tell you how to root it how to recover it and how to put ROMs on it's dead easy but I would definitely go for this ROM the ROM itself is called it's got a kind of funny name it's Elia Linux it's called um, it's a port on uh, of the the CM6 base they said um, ROM they've put all their tweaks and things in it they've used that as the base and put their tweaks in which and they've done really 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 well cannot fold it at all best ROM I've used. So I'm going to leave it there. I'll pop a link down to the XDA developers website that I normally do and it's just a little thing to show you like to say how easy it is and how nice that ROM is and I would definitely recommend it guys. So I'm going to leave it there and we'll catch you next time.